Damn. Is there coffee over there? There's probably something over there, but I don't feel like going over there. I just want to continue. But knowing my luck, there was a manuscript page over there. <sighs> Checkpoint. The dark presence was moving ahead of me in the same direction I was going. A cold feeling settled itself in the pit of my stomach. Was it going for Alice? Better believe it. Lots of crosses here. The graveyard shift may cause cancer. Really? Oh no, we got one of these guys now. I knew I was gonna have to fight another Stucky. Where's my flashbang? Flashbang! <laughs> This guy is very annoying. He thinks he's sneaky, but he's not. I'm waiting for him to come over here. There we go. That was an amazing looking weapon he had there. Oh man. Oh. Reach the mirror pink. Ugh, I still gotta go there. I hope I'm getting close because it's been a really long time already. I wanna go up here, see if there's anything up here. I doubt it, but might as well try. It's just kind of nice that they can let you go through different places so it's not so linear. The place was dead. A ghost town. Had been for decades, maybe a century. That... <laughs> this darkness is trolling me. Oh yeah, now that's a real, that's a real danger right there. Ooh. Ah! Man, I ran into that one. I have to wait here for a second, catch my breath, so I don't die. I see something glowing over there. I think it's a manuscript all the way back there, manuscript page. And I can't go in there. Unfortunately, no entrance. Oh, look, here's one. What does this say? Wake and Casey. Things were never as simple in real life as in fiction. I had lost count of the times I had wished there'd be a clear reason for my writer's block. Something to fight. Something to lash out on. There wasn't. I was filled with doubt. I was nothing like the hero in my books. Alex Casey had gone through his life with single-minded determination, never wavering from his goal. Even now, I was angry at myself, angry Oops. at Alice, angry at Barry. I was fumbling and I had no plan. That's a shame. That would be a shame to fall down there. Is that bridge gonna collapse? What does this say? Gray Peak Gorge. All right. Any items in here I can take for myself? And I know the second that I come in here and grab that coffee, something's gonna attack me, isn't there? Huh? Who? Huh, yeah. So I thought. That is what I thought. Man, this game gets really blurry. Especially when you move around too fast. What the hell? 
fighting crates. Man, these things are crazy. I've never fought an enemy like this in any game, which is really cool. Uh, I thought that was going to be a boss battle. Oh! I spoke too soon. Oh man, as long as I stay around here, I don't think I'll be hit. Never mind, I'm gonna hit. I'm gonna get hit. Yeah, they're not kidding about a ghost town, are they? Where'd the other piece go? Did it get thrown off the cliff? I think it did. Uh-oh. Don't like the sound of that. Oh, gosh. Let me in. Somebody give me some guidance, please. I don't know where to go. At least I haven't fought... Oh my gosh. I was gonna say, at least I haven't fought anybody with a gun yet. How am I supposed to fight this? I have multiple things being thrown at me. Ah. Screw that. I'm going in here. I'm going in here. Oh, I got a key. I'm sniping it. How am I supposed to get out? Oh. All my batteries are going to waste on this freaking Fisher Price playset. All right, well, I got a key. What do I do with the key? We go in here? I'm off for some close quarters combat. This is a pretty cozy kind of place, I guess. Whoa, hello. Anything outside of riding is a struggle. I feel ill. I managed to make my way downstairs. There's a shoebox filled with books and papers by Thomas Zane. It's very hard to focus, but I managed to read some of it. He's a poet, and a good one. He writes of muses and creators summoning fabulous things from a magic lake, <laughs> using his powers to shape the world of a realm of gods and dreams and demons, dark things that wait for a chance to slip through, wearing the flesh of men as disguise. Zane writes about himself, his girlfriend being taken over by a dark presence, about growing scared of the lake. Zane believes it's a mirror to the gaping void of darkness above, where some Lovecraftian presence lurks. Oh, yeah. I crawl back upstairs. I'll borrow these things from my story. They ring true. They fit. Ah, oh, H.P. Lovecraft. I do not want his stories in my in my game. <laughs> um, yeah, I'll, I'll go for a hunting rifle. Why not? I haven't used it in a while. HP Lovecraft makes my heart race. The sound of a thousand old ladies screaming as men steal their purses. Oh, oh almost jumped off. Uh, all right, who's next? Wants a piece of me. Secrets? Is that a text? The kidnapper had sent me a text. The message was full of spelling errors and insults. It was telling me to hurry up. Hey.